Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing great. Today we will be talking about Dr. P. V. Narasimha Rao, Pamulipatti Venkat Narasimha Rao. He is now awarded uh, with Bharat Ratna, the prestigious award from the Indian government. This is actually a celebration time for all of us. Uh, as as proud uh, indians and it's also a special day for all telugu telugu speaking people as well because pamuli patnar singh rao is from andhra pradesh so who is this guy and why do we need to um, talk about him now it's just because he is awarded with bharat ratna or is there uh, a reason why why we should always remember about this kind of great people so if you look at it mr um, narasimha rao was the indian prime minister during the 91 96 time so how come a non gandhi family uh, person become a prime minister of india that was the first uh, thing which everybody can definitely ask because even though from a congress uh, from an indian perspective it is still not a uh, monarchy but at the same time you have kings from the gandhi's family uh, are are ruling the country for a long time and then i think people are still with that slavery mindset so they continue electing all these uh, kings so <clears throat> when rajiv gandhi was assassinated now the congress uh, party was looking for where are the gandhis where are the gandhis where are the gandhis if they find like a little uh, kids uh, who are studying in some foreign countries the primary education then maybe some brilliant congressman must have told saying that bring them even if they are 5 year old we can run the country but we need that family only other idiots might have thought like no 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 at least we should give option to somebody else because you are talking about 1.4 billion population and then you are talking about one of the richest people or the intelligent people in the world and you are just talking about one bs family stupid idiots somebody must have thought so then um, they said okay p v narsimha rao is the right person for this particular job so he become a prime minister during the 91 96 time frame even though it's a minority government but at the same time india was in a very bad shape at that time so i'll tell you a couple of reasons why the congress party won't talk about pv narsimha rao even today especially the in nehru family the reason was when mr rajiv gandhi was the prime minister india was almost about to collapse financially because the license raj which was there for the last 40 years so what was the license raj is primarily like anything which you need to start a small company as well uh you need to take the permission from the government which you're never going to get it so this was established by forefather jawaharlal nehru and the nehru family because they can't understand what it is because um, you need a qualification you need a economic mindset to understand just because you are a hierarchy from a family or you are born to some idiot doesn't mean that you will understand all these things so overall it was the verge of collapse that's when um blessing in disguise mr p v narsimha rao became the prime minister and then um people around him or people uh in india or now or for the next uh, so many generations to come they call him the economic reformist of india the new uh economist of india because manmohan singh the next prime minister was actually a finance minister and both share the same qualities both have uh, the global liberalization from the economy perspective 
bringing the foreign investments to India and doing all the global liberalization so that India become the economic superpower for the next generations. That's where both of them together worked and then made what India is, is currently. So if you look at these things, that's the reason why if you see the great people like Narsimha Rao, Manmohan Singh, Atil Bihari was by Narendra Modi. Why these are all popular? Because they share similar views. Their primary goal is taking India to a different level, not taking their family to a different level or amassing a lot of wealth and all these things. That's why these are all special people. That's why India or any, any place in the world needs these special people. So that's, I mean, one of the reasons why the Nehru family Congress uh, people never talk about Narasim Rao because he has brought the economy from a collapse to where they are now. So if if they need to remember him, then they need to basically answer that what their hierarchical uh, family has done to the country. So it's so, I mean, happy to see that at least somebody now has really recognized and said that, yeah, he's the man. He is the um, prestigious Bharat Ratna. So if you really think Sachin Tendulkar is a Bharat Ratna, because in my generation where we have seen him uh, playing when he was like a 16 year old, we are happy to call him as Bharat Ratna. There are no debates to that. Similarly, if anybody understands all these economic reforms, which Mr. P. V. Narasimha Rao uh, has done, you can definitely call him Bharat Ratna. So that's the main thing. And also from the wealth perspective, because one more thing which I want to tell you is that you're talking about Andhra uh, leaders. You will think you will talk about their uh, uh, wealth, like they have so many farmhouses, 3000 acres, 2000 acres, whatnot and all that. P. V. Narasimha Rao was not even able to pay the fees for his son or daughter at one point of time. If you look at history, his son-in-law, somebody has taken care of that piece. You're talking about an Indian prime minister for five years. You're talking about a foreign external affairs minister for some time. You're talking about a person who was in the most corrupt Congress party. This is what uh, the great people are. So I hope you all agree uh, with my views and then celebrate this kind of people who basically we can proudly stand and say, yes, he's our man. Thanks a lot. Take care. Share your views.